Stylers and welcome back to the Full Style Ink channel for another video. Today's video I will be teaching you how to create this beautiful rainbow duster. I like to call this my coat of many colors. Today's tutorial is going to start off a bit differently so I'm going to start talking and give it right over to past Nadia. Okay Stylers, we're going to start off this tutorial with this. This is the fabric we'll be working with today. It is, I'm gonna pan down, it is a rainbow ombre um, satin, um, yeah, satin, sorry. And I got it because I really, really love the color. I was intending to make it a house gown, but if you could see this in person, it deserves to be more than just something I wear around the house. So we're gonna make it into a duster. So the reason why I'm starting off this tutorial like this is because I wanna talk you through my creative process instead of me trying to set up and lay everything out and do multiple voiceovers. I just wanna talk to my process. So I am going to I'm going to be freehanding a lot of this tutorial. Just really wanna push myself and hone my skills so first I love how it goes from dark to light I was thinking of flipping it but I think because I want this to be mm, a fall piece I'm not saying I can't wear it in the spring and the summer but I'm loving the dark to the light however it is a bit too long so I will be chopping about five inches off the top so that the light will hit just at the back of my shins or right above my ankle and not too much. Okay, I'm gonna stop with pin and pin and come down. So like I said, I will be free hand um, drafting a lot of this. However, I do have a few pattern pieces or um, homemade pattern pieces that I would like to use. Um, this will have sleeves. So I'm going to be cutting off some of the sides so that I can create my sleeve. But I, I really do wanna keep it like wide so it's loose and flowy. So, and the gist of what I cut off on the sides, I will be creating a arm hole. Once I do that, this is the pattern piece I created for arm hole, just tracing a pre-existing duster and like fit. And then um, I have a sleeve pattern here from another duster. And of course I can extend this length down. I just wanted a nice little simple draft. I am, once I cut it in half and I remove however many inches I need off of the sides to create my sleeve, I am going to cut this down the middle um, and I'm going to create make a slight um, ribbon bias tape out of the excess fabric um, and use that to create a nice facing for the front so that's nice and clean. Um, I don't, I may create a tie, I don't know, because I'm thinking I can wear this open as a duster, but at the same time I could pull it close, put a tie or a belt on it, and just wear it as like a dress. Yes. So you guys are going to see me do that. I have to clean off my entire table to lay this fabric out. That's why I'm not trying to show everything on camera, so forgive me for that. So yeah, we're going to get into it. So excited. One more look at this fabric. I mean, how gorgeous is that? How gorgeous? And you can see it's yellow at the very tip. Ugh. Gore. So you can see me here just going ahead and marking that 10 inches that I'm going to take off the top. I end up taking 10 inches instead of 5. I should have went with my first instinct and did 5. Um, so I'm just going to head and mark those inches off using an L ruler. This just makes sure that my center line is indeed straight and I am exactly at the 10 inches. Sometimes with rulers they can become skewed. So I'm going to mark that in the front of the fabric. The fabric is folded in half and then I folded it an another time so it's in fours. And going to just again take my yardstick to firmly secure my um my line so that I have a clear, flat, even line to cut all the way across through all four um, layers of fabric. 
and I do recommend taking a few pins um, at the top, you know, between the sections so that everything lay flat because with this satin material, it can move around and you want it to be smooth and flat when you're cutting. So you have a nice clean cut. I'm getting better with my cuts, y'all. You know, you guys know if you've been following me a while, I struggle with my cuts. I kept it folded in half, folded in half, I measured out 10 inches down, cut off the top. And it's still folded in half from the center fold, which will become my back and front seam. I have marked over 15 inches um, from the top. So a little bit more than I need for my shoulder width. But I don't want to mark 15 inches all the way down. I want to veer off a few inches. So this definitely will become my sleeve. I have more than enough fabric for it to become my sleeve and still make a trim. But I don't want to cut 15 inches all the way down because I do want this to have flare. So what I am going to do is 15 inches at the top and then I'm gonna go 15 10 mm, gradually go down so so again I am just going back in with my yard step marking at that 15 mark um, and I'm glad I marked the 15 mark that gave me just enough um, material to create my sleeves and then I'm going to gradual gradually go down from 15 to 12 to 10 to 8 to 6 all the way down towards the end I do go back in with my yardstick just to secure that length to make sure that it is a nice even gradual and it's not stagnant like steps it's more of a nice incline I do cut this part with my pinky shears this fabric does fray so be careful of that so going in with this pattern that I created from another pattern um, and it's an armhole that I like the fit of I am going in with my pinky shears again and I am cutting out my armhole this is from the section of the piece that will become the main body of the duster and it is folded in half not in fours but in half so again I'm repeating the same step on the other half of the fabric folded in half which will become the front and the back of the duster I'm um, taking my pinky shears and cutting out what would be my armhole so this is going to this is the material that was cut off from the sides and I'm going to put that right sides together pinning it down so that I can go and cut out my um, arm so I can go and cut out my sleeve Again, a cutting this on the fold. The other half of the fabric I did have to cut. It, it was in two pieces because that wasn't cut on the fold. So I just end up adding a seam down the top middle of the half that wasn't cut on the fold. And like I said, I had just enough material for an armhole, for a sleeve. So I'm glad I cut it at 15 and not like 20 or something else. And then I am checking the length and how, how long I wanted it. I think I made this about 23, 24 inches long. Because I wanted a nice little, nice little length for my sleeve. I'm getting, I'm really trying to get better with my cuts and making sure I go in with a ruler to straighten that line before I cut. Um, and also out of that side piece, that scrap fabric, I am going to measure out four inches and this will become the cuff for the sleeve. I want a nice, clean, even finish on my sleeve. So I created a cuff and I just secured that to the sleeve. So I know that's what that's there for. And I do the same thing on the other side. Again, this is the side that was cut 
with the salvage edge the raw edge so um, I will be going back to that first sleeve that's cut on the fold and creating a seam down the top of it well the middle of it so that it can be even on both sides so both sleeves will have a top seam okay first thing first I'm gonna sew up my side seams I have yet I have not cut the opening of the duster so I'm going to sew up my side seams and I'm going to mark at the bottom before I get to the edge I'm going to mark up eight inches from the bottom because I wanted to create a little um, side slits a little vent so it could just have a little bit more flare and opening so you can see me here taking my measuring tape and just marking up eight inches from the bottom to leave open Okay, once I have sewn up my side seams, I am going to take the duster layer flat and mark five inches. This is going to be the length of my shoulders. So from the opening of the duster all the way to the end with the armhole B is I measured five inches. I have yet to cut down the front and open up my duster, but I wanted to mark this so that I know how much I could cut into when I cut open the front of the duster. And I just go in and do a simple stay stitch to secure doing a um, back stitch at the start at the end. Okay, once I have finished the sewing up the side seams and the shoulder seams of the duster, I'm going to go in and sew up the side sleeves of my, I'm going to go in and sew up the side seams of my sleeves. Leaving about a one fourth inch seam allowance because I want to give myself as much room as possible um, with my sleeves. Okay, once I have my sleeves constructed, I am going to go again and attach my sleeves. I have showed you guys many a times how to attach sleeves. You want to make sure that the sleeve itself is right side out and the item that you're attaching it to, the duster, is inside out. Insert the sleeve through the armhole. Make sure that the top and bottom seams match with the side and shoulder seams. Pin all the way around. And then go in with the sewing machine starting at the top seam. So that could be the shoulder seam or the side seam and sewing around the perimeter. Okay. So off camera, I went and cut that, um, that extra fabric that was the top piece. I cut it in half because it was really long, really wide. So I cut it in half. From that, I cut two other pieces that are five inches in five inches wide because you know we cut off ten pieces, folded it in half, and with the right sides together, I stitched on the front of the the front neckline of the duster, and then I folded it over and I did a top stitch. I'm gonna press all this out so it lays flat. Um, just being lazy right now because. I have to like resituate myself to do that but so that's what I did just cut two strips five inches wide folded it in half wrong size face together pinned that pinned that down and with right side together I pinned this piece the strip to the um, outside right side of the cardigan I mean the duster front Pinned that down and then sewed it down, flipped it over and did a top stitch to create this casing. This, this not casing, create this fold. And I closed it off at the top. Close it off at the top. I've already went ahead and hemmed my back. And now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So here's the strip. Like I said, the strip the strip is a little longer than this is just chalk. The strip is a little longer than the duster, but I will cut that once I'm done. Um, when I go to do my hem, I'm gonna fold this in half, right side facing together. Now you can be you can do extra steps, and you can fold this in half, sew this right sides together so this wrong sides together and then go about pressing it which I recommend you do press and then attaching it to the duster pressing it again and then folding it over 
sewing it down, top stitching it, and pressing it one last time. I do recommend all the pressing, but to save time and to save steps, because I am on a bit of a deadline to get this done today so that I can edit this video and have this up by Saturday. I am just going to all in one go sew this and attach this to the duster. So I will pin this down. You can also sew both sides of this so it just is really flat and clean. I may actually go back and do that. Um, I haven't decided yet. So with that pinned down gonna find the other half of my duster okay I'm going to pin down fold, fold down the top of this so I am going to clean that up All right, here you can see me here as I said I am taking that folded strip and I am pinning it to the right side of the duster this is the front side of the duster I'm pinning that down and I'm gonna do a simple stay stitch starting at the top working my way down once I've gotten all the way down I'm going to flip it over so that it's facing outward and I'm gonna do a top stitch to secure it and then I'm gonna press all of that down now you should press in between your stitches and um, press your seams. Well, like I said, I was in a rush and I have to like reposition stuff to press. So I'm going to do all my pressing towards the end. And while I'm sewing um, this strip to the front facing of the duster, I am making sure that I'm grabbing all of the underside of that so that means I am making sure that the, the the front side of the duster is I am holding on to it and it's not slipping and sliding so you will see me go back and forth and check and make sure that I went over that it edge like I'm doing here and marking it with a pen when I don't I'm like okay I need to go back and we sew that because of the way that it's cut with the pinky shears and how it moves some of the stuff some of the material the edges can't slip away out of your grasp so this is the top stitch flipped over and why I'm sewing this down I am underneath the fabric making sure that I pull that seam the seam allowance away um, inward so it's laying flat against the inside of here I am just um, straightening up that piece of fabric that I cut that will be the cuff making sure that it's even and it equally measures to, um, four inches wide on all sides because be because everything was cut at a diagonal and on a bias some things can be a little um skewed so make sure that it cuts four inches wide so that is even so when i fold it over um i can have a nice flat even cuff so once I have that laying the way I, um, it is even laying up, I'm going to sew the side seams together. So once them side seams are closed, I am going to take this, turn it right side out, fold that in half. And I just take a pin to make sure that the seams are lined up so that it's even. I am going to insert the sleeve into the circumference of the cuff matching up them side seams so that it is even and then i'm going to go in and do a stay stitch around the perimeter of this cuff leaving about a one fourth inch seam allowance once you have finished that you can turn this cuff outwards turn, turn it down you can do a top stitch you don't really have to but i didn't do a top stitch i went in and just pressed it flat And 
once you have done that stylus, I'm going to go in and I'm going to finish off my hem, hemming the fabric, cutting off the, um, that facing that I created for the front of the duster by just cutting off the remaining of the fabric and folding it over with the hem and doing a simple stay stitch around the hem as well as around um, my um, vents that I created. Because I cut this the way it was cut, all of the hem is basically my salvage edge. So I just went ahead and folded over the white part, the salvage edge part, just to hide it away and included um, and then just went in with a stay stitch. And once you have done that stylus, you are done. I think this came out good. I, I absolutely love it. What do you think? Let me know. I love how it looks and how it flows. It's shining. I do wish it was a bit longer, but that is okay. I love this so, so very much. It is the perfect item to go from summer into fall and I love how I have it styled here with a simple pair um, of jeans and a tee and some colorful shoes. You stylists let me know what you think. I'm so excited. Absolutely love this piece. Let me know if you guys also decide to create your own using the hashtag DIY Styler. I love you guys so so very much. I hope you guys are enjoying the rest of your summer and I hope you guys have a beautiful and fantastic day and that you are enjoying your Labor Day weekend. Thank you so much for watching. Remember you are beautiful, you are loved, and most importantly, always remember to love yourself fully. Until next time.